Anyway. anyway. Welcome to this week's video, folks. It's a cool and crisp three degrees here, but it's a beautiful sunny day. And um, we certainly did a lot this week again. Um, a lot of work around the house, of course, still needed, but it's it's definitely starting to show. And thanks for watching and please like, subscribe, share with your mates. It's very, very nice to see we have such a community out there. So let's start this week's video. Beautiful tie backs you have. Yes, makeshift until I can crochet some. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, at least, at least the curtains are up, the room is done. We're just doing the last little bit of flooring. We needed a, a hand saw thing. So we're doing that now, and then the room's done, and then we can move in with a little bit of acrylic here, and then, then we can move in. <laughs> hey guys, so I finished painting our bedroom and i did laminate flooring and all that in here so this is the end result came out great feel like we have a nice color the sun's poking through there nicely um did the little wardrobe on the side there as well and yeah so now we're just waiting for our furniture and as soon as that comes then i'll show you what it looks like Okay, so I need to cut off this old radiator. It's rusted and old and the previous owners removed most of the radiators in the house. And we're going to be installing some air-to-air -air heat pump technology. And I just quickly loosen the screw over here to just make sure that this is definitely not connected to a water line and it's not. Next step is to just grind it off over there. I don't know how many of you have carried radiators before, but they are heavy. As always with any renovation project, there's a lot of junk. You have to throw out a whole bunch of stuff that we found in the house. Of course it came furnished, but not all of these things are things that we like. We've disassembled this old desk, this chair over there, an old exercise bike. I think I'm getting enough of that. Satellite dish, old broken toilet, which I found under the wood pile when I was moving that as well as an old saw, which I had a lot of hope for, but it's rusted. Fine sense of style, clothes fit like a glove. So here you can see the old barn entrance, and what they've been doing is just, there was a layer of planks here, and what they were doing is just adding more and more layers of planks on top. And the bottom is it and the bottom is completely disintegrated so what we need to do is go straight down to the, the soil at the bottom so that we can dig a proper foundation for our ramp so i'm finished digging the hole and instead of putting in the steel rebar that we bought i thought let's reuse some of these old radiators uh, in my opinion this is the best reinforcement that money can't buy
busy with the kids room so yeah keep an eye out i've got a lot of work to do here the bedroom's done our bedroom is done so yeah let's see how this works out <laughs> so this is the room for the kids that i've started to redo and um, i've scraped down the windows i've had to probably fill a couple of spots and uh, there's no light here yet so this is what i'm currently up to as you can see it's uh, a little bit derelict so yeah keep an eye out and you'll see what it turns out like hey folks so we've been working pretty hard today we've been trying to get rid of all the stuff in the house we both are very out of breath you know like the stuff the old people left there and you know trash around the place um so what's happening is um sweden is very big on recycling so we've had to try and figure out what goes where and put everything away but it's a struggle because we don't first of all you don't really understand the words and then you, so not you keep rest. looking at it hoping it hoping it's the right box and that you're not going to be crucified soon because you're not recycling properly because all the, but we're trying all the, all the bins are labeled right? yeah so at, some of them have pictures at least so we yeah. can like eh, okay it goes there <laughs> but most of it fuck we don't know we've probably done about five laps of this of dump this now. dump so we're done at the dump finally as you can see everything is so nicely laid out and you know you have to sort everything out so yeah we're very pleased that we are finished with this now it's been a, a long ass morning as you can see there's a so it's not a great view but i mean you get the idea so we're now so we're now tired and i said to my husband i've now earned a hot dog and um Ben and Jerry's so smile at the camera <laughs> so yeah that that was our our mission now complete busy returning the trailer which, which we could only get because we had an organizational number because we have a business but uh, otherwise you'd need to wait for your personal number yeah the trailer which is 30 minutes late by the way. yeah we're now 30 minutes late dropping it which is I think a very anti-Swedish thing they're not very tardy people but um, yeah so um, it was a fairly successful day now for now for like other spoils and other work at home so check in later bye so we went to Ica and we bought this it's a bag of like basically licorice odd sorts but it's super super yummy like many many different types in here in some fruity drinks. some chocolates it's super lacquer so i mentioned before the sweet aisle of the coop and this is just a small coop so as you see here there's tons of chocolates and sweets and just yummy but then then it continues goes and then there's this amazing section which we actually try to avoid because I mean you'll get really duck really fat if you spend too much time here but yes all the sweets so amazing <laughs> trust me to be the one who, who videos the sweets right the selection of bread is overwhelming Some more of this uh, Fibet Kuhn Brot. That's done today. This is all the Knack Brot. Guys, down here. Difficult to choose, but very nice to discover new things. So Daniela doing some recycling, yeah? <laughs> we 
working as intended. How much money have you made so far? So far six pounds. And the cool thing is from here, if you get that money, you can use it as a discount voucher. Pretty cool. So for the last two nights, Daniela has been hearing a uh, scratching. And um, yesterday, <laughs> and yesterday when I was busy mowing the the field, I found some um, some field mice ran, uh, running around. Um, so obviously, if they're scratching, then it must be a mouse. So we went to go buy these mouse traps that are something I haven't seen before. They're pretty cool. So you set them. Um, this. Uh, inverse guillotine goes down and you put that over and you lock it and you see like in in there right in there there's a the little place for the the bait so if I open it up you see this thing and when it gets touched the bait gets pulled and then this thing shoots up so let's have a look how it works Here comes the mousey. <laughs> Here comes the mousey. Do it this way. You can see. Here comes the mousey. Nom 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 nom. What happens if you try and pull the sausage out? The sausage becomes. <laughs> Bye -bye, it does not go anywhere. How are we going to get the sausage out? Oh, you're gonna push this down and just take the sausage out. Oh, how, how does the sausage go? Oh, so Let's look, look at that carnage. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll. <laughs> We'll see how it works.